Good evening ladies and gentlemen, Rapid Chess here with the video of the day and um, today we'll look another, at another Queensland game. Uh, so as we spoke earlier, earlier um, when you have um, playing in a Queensland game, uh, the tactic behind it is always a perpetual check by Queen. So uh, even if you promote uh, Queen and have your old Queen as well, that could not be enough. So um, definitely black is playing for the win and the problem is that now the d3 pawn is attacked. Uh, also uh, black's skin is quite vulnerable. Yeah, um, If we give up this f7 pawn then uh, this diagonal um, is um, you know, dangerous uh, for, so that white can give check on h5 and e8 and um, agree to a draw. So let's see, what do you think how black played in this position? So um, let's uh, check the variations. If like the most natural move is uh, uh, king, uh, I'm sorry, queen to d5, but uh, after queen f5, let's say king h six takes and d2 then white wins with queen to h5 so we have to be careful so if we if we play back then it's perpetual check just queen c8 and if we go here takes and we go let's say um try to defend from this mate uh with some kind of check yeah then uh, uh Actually, uh, white can even defend with queen f3, and uh, uh, I think white will be a little bit better. So, um, okay, let's go back. And uh, in this position, um, let's say queen to d6, let's analyze this move. Queen f5, and again, the same idea. Uh, queen h6, yeah, to take, and Threaten with this perpetual check. So uh, Karpov saw it and he played uh, the strongest move, queen to b5, defending the uh, d3 pawn. And this queen here does a lot of additional work. It defends e8 square and it defends f5 square. So uh, white cannot give a check on f5 so that the pawn will queen. So uh, the munition saw it and he played a queen to e4 check. So let's check the most obvious takes. And uh, the problem is that black plays d2 and white has uh, a lot of trouble uh, stopping this pawn because uh, this just doesn't work. Uh, and if they play qu uh, queen f3, then queen b1, another Nice move by Karpov, uh, just controlling this diagonal and not allowing check on f5, so d2 will promote. All right, uh, so um, Romanishan saw it, he gave check and played uh, queen to d4. Um, so just stopping d2, uh, Karpov played queen c6, check and played queen to c2. Now, uh, this is a threat, but uh, Romanishan put his uh, queen on d4. And uh, from the from this perspective, uh, f7 pawn is still uh, on board and defends the king. So he went e4, queen to e4, uh, pinning the d3 pawn, queen c3, unpinning, and d2. So uh, Romanishan took the pawn and again with the same idea to give mate on h7. Uh, Karpov played uh, queen c6 check, f3 and king to h7. Now uh, as uh, in uh, queen's endgames it's very common that um, after you uh, already ready to queen your pawn, you want to move your king closer to this pawn and avoid these perpetual checks. So Romanishan played queen b3, 
of uh, protecting d1, uh, king h6, queen d1, uh, the only move which uh, doesn't allow d1 queen, queen d3, just uh, maximizing the pressure on white and uh, defending from queen b1 check. And he started running with the king. Very nice move, uh, queen king f8, because uh, if you play in this move, then it's draw after uh, queen e2. Uh, white uh, exchanges the queens, and uh, this pawn is not promoted. Uh, actually, it's uh, black will, will have to play for a uh, uh, draw. So uh, queen king f1 forcing, uh, like white is in Zugzwang, so they have to move with king back. And now king starts running. And after king to c5, white resigned because uh, this queen is very passive. It cannot give checks to the king and um, black is winning. All right, uh, thank you very much and see you next time.